Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra from Susala DIY and today I'm excited to share how to make this gorgeous tulle dress. The story behind making this dress is a special one because this was the dress that I wore on my wedding day. I can call it a bridal gown because it isn't one, but it was a perfect dress for me. And because I made it in only one week, unfortunately, I didn't have the time to record the sewing part. So today is gonna be a pattern making video. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make another similar dress with the video sewing included and I will make it happen. So let's see how to make the pattern for this dress. I will start with the fabric. You will need to make this dress 8 meters of tulle, the one that is 3 meters wide, 50 centimeters of elastic tulle for the bodies, and depending on how long you want your skirt to be, mine was midi, you will need between 1.5 and 3 meters of fabric for the lining. And last but not least, the lace. I will say around 50 centimeters of lace. And now regarding the pattern, you will need a basic bodice block and a basic sleeve block. Start with the front of the basic block. Modify the neckline as in the second picture. I wanted a boat neckline and I redraw it with 5 cm. Also modify the armhole. I added around 2 cm and that was it. Repeat the same steps for the back of the bodice. Add also 2 cm to the armhole because we should have the same shoulder length. The last step is to redraw the back of the dress. And here is how the bodice of the dress looks. I use the elastic tulle for the bodice and I place the lace on it and sew it piece by piece. It's a very time consuming process but the results are worth it. You can make your own lace pattern. Now we can move to the tulle skirt. To make the tulle skirt you will need the following formulas. I use the half circle skirt formula for the lining of the skirt and the full skirt formula for the tulle part. Start with the tulle part. I cut 3 meters of fabric. The tulle was already 3 meters wide, so you will end up with a piece of fabric of 3 or 3 meters. Fold it first in two, fold it one more time to have a square of fabric of 1.5 meters with 1.5 meters. Next time I fold it on a diagonal to have a triangle shape, which is easier to handle. The next step is to put your air value on the fabric starting from the corner. Because I wanted my skirt to be together at the waist, I doubled the air value. Mark where is this value and cut it out. And this is your waistline. I measured from the waistline how long I wanted my skirt to be. Mine was around 50 cm because I wanted to put the ruffle too. This is how the tulle pattern unfolded looks. I use for my dress three layers of tulle. I cut it around 16-18 cm to put the zipper. To make the bottom ruffle, cut around 10 pieces of tulle with the following measurements. And here is how the skirt looks. I have a more in-depth video here on how you can make your tulle skirt. The following step is to make the lining and I opted for a half circle skirt pattern to make it. Keep in mind that the length of your lining should be the value of the tulle circle skirt plus the ruff. Measure 3 meters of fabric fold it once in half, after that I fold it on the diagonal as in the second picture, measure where your waist is with the half circle skirt formula, measure from the waist how long you want your lining to be and cut it. Here is how the pattern of the lining looks unfolded. The last pattern piece is the sleeve. Start with the basic sleeve block, cut it into 4 equal pieces, add around 12 cm between them, redraw the new sleeve pattern, make it as short as you want and here is how the sleeve pattern looks. I use 5 pieces of tulle for each arm. I also played a little bit with the length of them, so feel free to do the same. And this was the pattern that I used for my tulle dress. Let's see how the final looks. I ended up with a charming midi tulle dress in this delightful champagne color. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to remake it in another color and record every step. That being said, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions or advice, as usual my comment section is open. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share with other serious enthusiasts. Until next time, let's find inspiration. Baby, you give me